Hello guys, this is Vaish. We are going to continue 2021 playlist where we have already done 5-6 videos and it has been getting huge response. That is the reason I am making it again and again and doing it very fast so that uh, by the time we launch test series you will be ready. Okay, you will be ready to take it up and then ready to study the relevant things alone. Okay, I don't want you to be like all the other normal aspirants in the country who are simply going in the wrong direction okay so please watch all that videos i'll give you details again so this will be about note making how to make notes because this has been requested by most of the students give me a second yeah so about note making i'll give you 15 pointers 15 pointers uh, which i have uh, tried to fit in everything okay like there will be a lot of videos on the internet which tells you like how to make notes what to do what to do and all but i thought of compiling everything okay whatever points i feel which is relevant everything like so it will become it will be summed up in 15 pointers and i will be trying to uh, help you out okay uh, before that i want you to come and subscribe to this youtube channel because the, the support in the form of comments and whatsapp messages has been huge okay compared to that the subscribe account is not even near that so please click on subscribe because all these things are done for free for you so that you are on par with the most serious aspirant in the country okay and facebook please come and message and uh, whatsapp sorry if you have whatsapp it is okay but still you can like the facebook page because there are a lot of uh, pictures and charts and some random things okay samples which we put out there so you can come and uh, like the page because you'll be using Facebook on a daily basis, it's more uh, easier for you to get our updates. 2020 and 21 students WhatsApp me telling me which year you are preparing for. Based on that, you will get a, a set of links Okay, to start with, how to shape up yourself for this exam. Now, these are the videos which we already did, 1 to 6. So, please watch in this particular order only so that it will be more easier okay because everything is related because when i do the newer newer video i'll be referring something which i already told in the previous video so to avoid questions please watch it in order and now note making i'll tell you online notes offline notes the relevance the subjects different subjects what is like how you do it then um, uh, tricks also okay like there are many tricks which we do so that i'll tell you so this is about the note making next will be about coaching and test series or current affair because these are uh, the things which i keep getting questions okay um, so you can see this is a rough draft of things we'll do so if it is listed here then please don't come and ask like will you be doing it i'll be doing it okay whatever is listed here will be done at one point of our time so please wait for them now uh, this is just for some people who are like a little bit over smart and then just because it's a free whatsapp number you can come and message whatever you want uh, when you come and approach us the first thing we ask you is whether you are 2020 or 21 student okay so, so you tell us that and immediately based on your uh, uh, year we give you set of links so there are some students when we give that uh, they don't bother to click about it it's fine but they come and respond like we already know what books to do uh, like uh, i have given two three prelims already so i don't need advice on all these things okay so it, the way they talk is the problem okay if you are telling this in a normal way it is fine but you, you treating uh, this contact as somewhere someone who is going to give you like bunch of free materials or like a website to go and download all the pdf this is not what we are intending okay this initiative is for interacting with those students who are like in different parts of this country who don't have a mentor who don't have someone who is preparing for upsc who don't know anything about this exam or who who don't know whom to go and ask okay when it's like very silly doubt or small small doubt they fear to go and approach and ask a big institute or they don't know how to do that okay so that is why i am personally doing it in whatsapp one to one okay if it's not a group or somewhere like you have to uh, go and throw your doubt okay because that is that is actually a waste of time there are such kind of people also who come and ask like add me to the group i have never mentioned about any group anywhere okay in none of my video there is a mention of whatsapp group i'm just telling you come and whatsapp me and it will be a one-to-one -one conversation okay so you can ask whatever you want and it will be if it is relevant we will be answering you but if we give a video link you don't watch that and then after that you come and ask the same thing which is already answered in the video we won't entertain that okay either you will be removed from the list or you will be we will not be re responding to you anymore okay because if you can't watch the step-by-step -step things which you do which we do for you then there is no point in taking it forward okay so all the genuine people will be supported all the genius people please stay away okay like we may not be able to guide you okay we are too small to guide your gen uh, genius levels okay so it's a very serious point i wanted to tell you we don't have time to time pass with everyone who is not relevant now decide while others are delaying okay this is to the serious aspirants there are many students like even in 2020 i have students okay if, because i don't delete the chats which happens okay when last year june when i launched a test series there are like at least 2000 plus 3000 plus students will come and message me sir tell give me the brochure give me this thing uh, what is the schedule will i get an email okay all the procedure they'll ask they'll tell like okay i'll be enrolling 
it is fine whether you enroll or not but you asked in june then you and again in september you see another ad and you again come and ask after december you again ask and finally what happens is then when the prelims is nearing now in april may these students who were inquiring since the last one year actually comes and purchases okay because they understood that whatever they bought from other sources or maybe they did not buy anything at all that did not help okay so now you come and buy this and then in two months maybe you will finish everything like maybe i say yes test you buy and study anything i mean everything that is depending on your reading speed and all those things but if you had enrolled to us in june itself you would have almost completed all the test by now okay so decide while others are delaying this is a very strong quote and strong message i want to tell to the 2021 students leave i say yes any any institute if you are you if you have in mind and if you have researched you have shortlisted and then in the next one or two month if you like it please go and join okay if you keep inquiring every three months every three months by that time all your competitors would have done a lot more than you okay so please don't delay your preparation the earlier you start the better it is now note making uh, mandatory is it mandatory for upsc this is one question which students ask so this thing again it's like it's not necessary okay like no exam or no institute comes or no board will tell like make this many notes then you will pass okay it's not like mentioned anywhere note making is done for personal use okay it's a completely a student's choice if you want something to be uh, seen later for revision or something which you can quickly take up okay then you need to do note making it is not at all necessary it is not mandatory there are hundreds of students who know don't make even a single note but they clear this exam okay so note making is just personal choice now should i make notes and what are the benefits now one benefit is it's like for quick reference like i told like you cannot go and read the lakshmi kant fully you cannot go and read a big textbook of ramesh singh or a spectrum or something again and again you don't know where it is okay you can put bookmarks maybe but still if you have notes or pointers or keywords somewhere written all those things which you have studied already you can recollect it's only for recollecting purpose it's not like you copy paste the entire textbook into paper okay that's called not called note making so if you are a person who is lazy again to go and read the full textbook or you are weak in time management okay like there are some students like who read the lakshmi kant cover to cover then they again start from starting and again read cover to cover like the two three times they read because they know to manage the time they know that okay these many days are there i'll plan well i will do it so if you can do that it is fine you don't need to make any notes you can just highlight in the textbook and keep bookmarks but there are others who cannot do a textbook even once for full so that time you have to make notes you have to make charts you have to make diagrams something so that that topic now you will not test the lakshmi kant again okay you have something already uh, that will be useful like we have icis test for you our test is like uh, a chapter by chapter of this thing lakshmi kant okay so it is like eight test 800 mcqs will cover your entire uh, lakshmi kant okay first test will be about chapter 1 to 6 then chapter 7 to 12 like that all the 70 chapters we have done it in test format and the solution we are not giving you in the solution document for lakshmi kant we are giving you instead the uh, one or two lines of why the statements are wrong or uh, something like that and then we are giving you the page number reference so you keep your textbook open you uh, have this question in front of you you will read the exact explanation from the uh, textbook now from that thing which you read in the textbook you can scribble what you need from that the pointers to understand this question in your answer paper which you i mean which you got from us that uh, question paper or answer paper wherever you want so next time onwards you just need to do this ycis test you don't you because you know exactly in this page it is written like that i have made notes from there only okay so that output pdf is the only thing you need you don't need to go and open lakshmi kant again so that is one way another benefit is own handwriting okay there are like many students who when they see their own handwriting what you have scribbled in notepads and here and all that will help you more okay so own handwriting is one benefit pointers at one place okay like all pointers at one place is also again useful like i told many textbooks are there but you cannot go and open you cannot find so if it is there in one book or one diary which you have you need to only have that on like on the prelims day also morning you can have that book alone and then keep uh, turning pages or if it's a digital copy in your phone you can simply scroll scroll and then read everything so it will be in one place and then there will be a lot of shortcuts and tricks which you have made maybe it's your personal things or maybe someone taught you these will be there only in your notes it will not be there in your textbook also these tricks will help you um, um, uh, recollect all the entire thing if it's a big essay also with shortcuts you can remember the whole thing now we'll go to the 15 pointers okay so point number one readable and organized but not to publish okay that means whatever you make okay like suppose you have a paper a4 size paper one day you will write like this next day you will write like this and maybe something you remembered in the first po uh, third point here you will again add here okay then it gets full then what you do is then you will like start writing like this 
you start writing like this you spoil the whole thing it will you yourself will not be able to understand what you read and what you wrote i mean what you read uh, wrote first and second okay it will be all mixed up and messed up this is not readable and this is not organized how much ever you tell like it's my own writing i know and what i did this will not help you in the long run because for upsc it's not like one page or two page you will be writing you will be writing lots and lots of notes if you are making notes okay so it should be readable it should be organized and remember it is not to publish okay now when i tell organized some people will like like put margin a4 size 1 2 3 4 and it will be like as if you are going to give it for printing okay this notes is for your reference so again you should not be like this but you should not be like this also it's not like to publish it should be like maybe in boxes you can put it okay or something like it's a flow chart okay this is like the first step then the second step then it will go like this so it it it, it should be looking organized but it is not for publishing purpose so don't think like like what if somebody else read this or something nobody is going to read your notes and nobody wants your notes also okay you are doing this for your later reference purpose alone okay so this is point one point number one see this is one example of a revision chart okay where kyoto protocol we have done the entire summary this one if you have to study from a textbook or their website you need at least three to four hours okay that must be it is kyoto protocol but this pointing which i pointers which i made okay the timeline of events right from the cop 3 if you don't know cop i mean you have not even started that is fine but uh, there is this conference of parties which happens okay under unfcc which is united uh, nations framework for climate coordination and all so they have this so in every cop meeting which happens every year they will be doing some update okay so this kyoto protocol from 1997 it is there so whatever changes happens related to that see extended or some someone left kyoto Pro protocol or someone joined kyoto protocol like that everything we have given here so this one will help you for both your prelims and mains okay so these are different grouping this was actually asked by upsc two times okay this nxa nxb and all and this was asked in 2018 prelims i think okay the exact same word which you see here this was asked and if you had to study this from textbook and environment book it will be very very difficult because it will be written like passages so we have made it in a column wise and see this is how we made a note for kyoto protocol okay in this one page on the day of exam if you simply scroll this if it's a prelims you will get 2 marks if it's a mains you will get maybe 10 or 20 marks okay based on what question comes so this is an example of a proper organized note making and this is not done on in one day okay maybe like this was done one day when you were reading this okay then in the same excel sheet after maybe 2 months or 3 months you studied some more things you add that then this one and just before prelims whatever you had for kyoto protocol together you compiled it and made it in one excel sheet okay that is how you do it's not like one day you can sit and make the entire judiciary or maybe uh, economic reforms you cannot make it in one day as and when you study it has to be added and then it should be finally compiled into one source okay so this is one example of an organized notes which is not for publishing okay we we are doing it for publishing that's why you have this color coding and all these things because this revision chart is part of your course okay whoever enrolled to test series you will get 200 plus such charts next year i'm planning 250 plus so that i'm still working on but minimum 200 charts you will get now point number 2 index and separate books okay so first thing is like what most of the toppers do is they'll maintain four to five separate notebooks okay and the key for separating this is syllabus i already showed you so go and watch the syllabus video you will have gs1 you will have gs2 gs3 gs4 or maybe even for sa okay prelims specific uh, prelims specific i don't recommend because prelims and mains is almost same only so that is up to people so and within gs1 itself the book okay the uh, notebook which you purchased okay uh, 25 pages every 25 pages or 30 pages they'll give a bookmark kind of thing so first will be only history first 25 pages then the next will be society then it will be post independence then world history or geography so like that they are separate the the book based on syllabus okay under gs1 same way gs2 then gs3 you will have economics environment science and technology everything comes in gs3 uh, gs2 you have international relations polity governance okay so like that again you will split the text books okay so you have four minimum four uh, notebooks okay notebook is one way another way is just do it in a4 size papers okay that is more comfortable i feel okay you will have a maybe a clipboard or writing pad or something and then you will have this uh, papers so you can write it like uh, just have to name the heading okay you don't have to buy books and all so it's your comfort level how you feel it but books or this thing you should be separate okay and always you should have an index of what this book contains or if you keep writing something and then finally like some day like you want to know like world history you have no idea in which book you have written then it don't work so in every book you should have a cover page or something where you write this book is for these many topics okay or if you have kept a bookmark you should know this on that bookmark itself you can write 
okay like a bookmark you are keeping in page number 25 in that bookmark here one rectangle uh, square column here you can write world history so that particular page will be starting with world history so indexing and separate books this is point number two now point three you should write topic wise and not date wise or book wise what i mean by this is some students like they read the hindu today suppose june first they start hindu paper okay june one in their notebook, notebook they are writing like this june one current affair and then you will write something some medicine discovered some animal is endangered some economic reform okay like this the next day you are putting june two then again like this like this so this is like a day 12 compilation suddenly when i ask you some endangered thing in news you don't know whether it came in june 1 or june 2 or maybe december 3 because it's all in different different pages okay you have no idea which day that came in news so you should never make it day twice and again you should not make it book wise okay like you should not put a heading like hindu and under hindu you keep writing something 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 for months and years and then finally you don't know where is what topic okay so always it will be topic wise or theme wise okay what i mean is if you have a current affair note you are maintaining okay just for current affair the first page maybe you should start with like something like this polity or all like suppose judiciary okay so whenever now supreme court tells something or high court does something or maybe some judge is appointed or does, uh, something happens that news you should write here like whether it's june 1 or june 2 you don't care about the date you write that news here or whatever notes you want that one line you write here okay then second line maybe after five days now next something supreme court is telling okay like some like woman can enter temple or maybe national anthem you have to stand up so it will happen it's not happening like every day it will happen after three months or six months and also every time the judiciary alone you write in this page throughout one year you write this so all the judiciary thing you will have in this one single page the next page maybe will be for uh, endangered animals so whenever you read a news like today one lion has been shifted from this uh, sanctuary to that sanctuary or something got unesco status like that write only the environment thing so this topic you know now next time when somebody asks after six months also tell me last one year which one was the one who shifted from here to here or something you know it will be in this page okay hope you understood the topic so it will be topic wise and not date wise or book wise okay again like spectrum or suppose example ancient history you read it from ncrt class 6th and uh, uh, 7 8 9 10 class 12 class 12 it will have part 1 okay class this two textbooks will have ancient history and again rs sharma will have ancient history in all these places you will have indus valley civilization okay so when you make a note for indus valley civilization points from here 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 everything should come in one page it's not like you make a note separate for NCRT 6, then another note for NCRT 12. It's not like that. Point number four, prelims mean separation. I already told you there is no need for separation. Only thing is there are some extra things which comes in mains alone. Okay, like there is world history. There is post-independence India. There is um, maybe a little bit of society, extra things you have to study like uh, globalization and uh, communism, regionism, ethics. These are things which are on only there, okay. Um, then history, geography, polity, international, okay, all those things are common, okay, everything, whatever I feel, it's, I think it's common, optionals, these are only for your mains, so that obviously it will be a separate notebook or maybe as I told, it will be a separate page in your notebook, okay, other than that, there is no need to make separate notes for prelims or mains, make it topic wise only. See, I'll show you an example. This is an Indus Valley Civilization chart which we have. Okay, so here if you see all the sites we have given. And this is not done in one day and this is not done from one textbook. Whenever we get something, it will be mentioned here. And then see, if it's a flourishing city, which state it is, state is given so that if map question comes, you can solve. And this is see pointers. Whatever happens, okay, this if you see, six granaries and then wheat, barley, mortar, citadel, this will not be there in one single textbook. I have collected it from at least four to five textbooks. Okay, so as and when I get it, I fill up the Excel sheet see canals in afghanistan this site last year 2019 they actually asked it they gave four sites simply four sites a b c d and they asked like which of the following is not an indus valley site it's a simple direct question so actually the answer was here itself whatever is given here three were there and one was not there and that one was actually an ashoka site okay and that ashoka site we had given in your ashoka related thing so that is what i'm telling these kind of notes help you by heart in the last minute how much have you study exam day morning you need something where you can glance everything quickly okay that is the purpose of notes so this is one example where if you see this chart this is for prelims and mains now suppose main specific you have to make something for indus valley civilization okay so see this this is a main specific chart which we make why because when somebody asks you to write a 20 marker question for indus valley civilization you will write this town planning great bath granary animal rearing trade tech and craft social life script seals 
this is the this is the entire textbook actually if you go and open a uh, nithin singhania book or any uh, art and culture book you will have this in maybe 20 to 30 pages with lot of pictures and all these things that is actually the right source from where you should start studying but you cannot go and read that 30 pages again and again that is why as and when you study you make this kind of chart or you make it this kind of notes okay it's not necessary you have to make a table like this okay this is just for color coding and all these things because i have to give it to students so this is how you make for main specific and prelim specific now point number 5 color coding okay there are color coding has its own importance but there are some students like when they when we open their actual lakshmikanth hard copy textbook it will be like full yellow color all the lines will be yellow color or maybe some green color like this then some purple color like this you will make it look like a rainbow and it's like a waste of effort and waste of time okay the purpose of highlighting is what purpose of highlighting is that it is important if you go and color code each and every line then what is the purpose of it okay so you can see this is one example of another revision chart which we have which is uh, western festivals okay so if you see here all in one chart which we made dance folk tradition theater puppetry martial arts sports sacred groves and almost all these things you see has been asked in upsc at least once these are picked up from upsc options only okay so here if you see we have used slight color coding if you see sport and uh, sacred groves we have put it in different color so if you see here whatever is in black or some state this is festival this green color is a sport and here this red color is a sacred grove so in one chart you can have everything instead of having separate separate charts for puppetry separate chart for sports okay that also we make actually for easy easiness purpose but even if you need a all in one chart this is how you do it in single chart write everything but have a color key which will tell you that this is what okay this is that that is this so this is a easy way of doing color coding another i'll show you see this is a geography chart indian vegetation which is done from ncrts so here if you see the basic thing you will study but in exam hall suddenly when somebody asks like rainfall this thing to this range or something you if you have sorted it in order of rainfall it will be much more easier like if you see here this is all the wet things okay this green color is like meaning it has too much greenery mountain is like it will be little more drier and this alpine we have put at the colder area blue color we have given so when we do this way even if you forget something in the exam hall maybe this picture will come to your mind okay like i remember that it is in the leftmost side somewhere which is in green color marked in green color okay this is not the actual way to study this is actually the way to recollect okay for studying you have to study correctly only you have to study which rainfall or what forest what uh, vegetation what animals you have to study one time but after all the studies in the exam hall to recollect maybe the words won't come into your mind but the colors will come into your mind which is in the extreme le left or which is in the extreme right okay so this is one example of our geography revision chart now point number 6 flow charts tables diagrams figures okay so this one as i told already already i have showed you tables whatever i showed you revision charts is all tables and then diagrams you can make like there are like venn diagrams and all sometimes people make like this okay in your csat you will have lot of such thing like maybe I, i don't know what to tell but maybe the population density or something and all you can uh, see something which is common will come here or something which is only here will come here so these are venn diagrams okay then there are another thing called mind maps and all like where you put a uh, this thing something will tell a story this will go here okay it's actually flow chart mind maps everything is almost same only so you can classify it okay like suppose uh, animals i'll show you actual revision card because if i write like this it will not look neat okay which are news like maybe critically endangered alone you will write here or maybe any environment treaty or something climate related you will write here under climate itself greenhouse gas related separate will be there ozone layer uh, related separate will be there so under each thing write like this so in one chart you are seeing all kind of treaties so these are different ways to uh, make it look appealing okay or like i told it's a flow from here you are going here like parliament okay like first bill is passed in lok sabha then it goes to rajya sabha here itself you can write the voting also here 2 by 3 voting is needed here 2 by 3 voting is needed after that maybe it will go to president and after president also he can decide whether to like he veto power he can just keep it like that he should sign the bill or he should return the bill so this can be made like a diagram okay so figures and it should have lot of these things okay primary purpose of this is actually to maintain the figures and fact the numbers or the factual things else don't copy paste all the paragraphs here point number 7 usefulness and relevance there are many students who make notes of all the irrelevant things okay there are many many things like uh, i see even because i have all the contacts saved in this thing there are men some students whom whatsapp status i saw like their notebook okay they are actually taking the photograph of their notes the heading itself is instagram notes okay maybe they are following some page in instagram or facebook or somewhere and the pointers they have written is 
under 17 football champion fifa gold medalist okay something something which is error pepsi co chairman this notes is nowhere useful for upsc if you are writing ssc or banking or something where irrelevant idiotic gk is asked this is okay but i don't know i have not talked to that student about this but i saw this status and i thought of telling in this video please don't buy hard these kind of person in news or sports or movies or anything which is also news item which is also gk but it is not needed for upsc please go and open your syllabus and do at least last one year or two year previous year paper you will understand what upsc ask and what other exams ask please don't study this irrelevant gk okay who is the chairman of which board or who is uh, the current chief justice of india who is the current cag of india you don't need that upsc will not ask even a single person's name okay please don't do that so it should be useful and it should be relevant okay it should be needed for your exam please don't do this point 8 newspapers so newspapers again editorial page is what is needed for your mains okay editorial is needed for your mains exam so obviously you cannot write the full editorial into a notebook you should not write it also but maybe as i told in your book where you have judiciary related you have put some two three pointers okay supreme court did this supreme court did this like that you wrote some things okay like even now corona thing corona is like every day in news okay march and april my students if you got my current affairs you will know it's one of the most lengthiest test which i have given because i have put a separate section for corona updates any vaccine or any like our drdo is doing something our csir is doing something or maybe many iits are doing something many many um, uh, mask and body shield and uh, uh, gel or many many things are being developed okay and all these people are naming different things like some covert or some they uh, give it a scientific name so when the name comes it becomes important for you for upsc okay so when you note down all these things in many days time you will get a huge list of points now after you finish your prelims when you do your mains answer writing practice that time you have all the pointers here now you just organize it into a mains answer maybe you start with a quote or then introduction then body conclusion okay that answer writing i'll do in a separate video but you have the pointers already ready so newspaper note making you have to see like factual thing by heart there itself or maybe scribble it here or however you need for prelim sake but for mains you need all the pointers so make sure you uh, write it all here okay like there are many students who go and cut out the newspaper and all and keep and all that. i don't think it is relevant they have big files and files of hindu articles you will not read it again okay i'm seriously telling you, you will not read it again don't do all those hard work simply uh, make notes in separate separate pages if you feel you will forget it it is very easy to remember you will anywhere remember it you don't need that or when you enroll to a very good test series all these things comes to you for free you don't have to do all this hard work itself okay so there are multiple ways but newspapers making notes please see to it that you don't start your own newspaper by this okay newspaper article collection is a waste of time and please don't do it digital notes for digital notes there are actually many softwares like evernote is there uh, i think one note is there then something called quip is there all these things if you compare in google also they will tell you like one has advantage one has disadvantage but everything is fine so this one will help you maintain in uh, uh, this thing okay there also like like instead of maintaining separate hard copy papers there you can have separate sheets in uh, these pages okay and there you can write each day you can keep on adding so one advantage of digital notes is that you will never lose it and you are like always now everybody is addicted to smartphone so this will be always in your pocket and you can pull it out and you can read it okay while going to bed also you don't need like even switch on the light when you are um, lying on bed also you can scroll through your mobile and do this so but i will not tell all the things you do digital notes or all the things you do paper notes you can have a mix of both or maybe like based on your taste okay like which a category you are there are some people who can't read lot of time in the mobile screen or um, uh, laptop for them you have you need papers okay so that is what but i'm just telling you some software name so that in case you need to make digital notes you can download or install it okay all these things i don't think they will charge you anything or in your um, current android phone itself or iphone there will be already a notes app okay something called notes will be there i think in most of the phones it is there there also you can note small small cards kind of thing and you can save it and also digital notes is useful but don't make entire thing digital okay have something in papers also integration and updation there are some people who write something and then they don't care about it meaning when something else happens in news they don't even read it okay like something some uh, animal related something they wrote after a few days again the headline you see something related to the same animal they will think like like why should i read it i already know it i already made notes but don't do that maybe in that news article something extra came okay maybe some uh, uh, some invention or some vaccine or some something related to that extra came which you do, did not know 
so always keep your notes updated also that is why i'm telling always have separate pages and have it topic wise so that when in that same topic something comes you can simply add it there itself okay always keep some buffer space so that is why some people leave some margin also on both sides that's also fine so that when the topic here has some updation if you have, don't have space there you can immediately write it here because every every line which you write will not have an update okay so it's not don't worry like it will become like this or like this or like this it will not become only few of the uh, articles uh, lines will have some update which you need to make so it will look neat only so you can do that I'll show an example. This is one of our revision charts which we made in 2016. Okay, which I made. That time we had only these many UNESCO uh, biosphere reserves. Okay, under UNESCO. But later, when 2017-18 reached, the current affair came. Like one more thing is added. So obviously I had to change it. So I added one more thing in my Excel sheet and I updated my revision chart. So now students when they enroll, they will get this one. So this is called updation. Okay. So this is one example of we doing it for you, but you also should be doing it wherever you are maintaining notes. See to it that these kind of things are updated because these things change. Now also like tomorrow if something gets added, I will have to add one more row for 2021. Okay. This is an ex uh, so this is 11 and 7. Earlier it was uh, 10 and 8. Okay. Total is 18 only, but it be changed in the ratio. So that's what I'm telling. Notes updation and integration at one place is important. Subject examples. Okay. Now history timeline causes consequences this is what you need for a exam okay so this is what i'm just telling you what to make notes for particular subjects okay just clues i'm telling you not like this is the only thing so timeline is what people forget like sometimes people don't know like uh, pallavas came first or like pandya dynasty came first or uh, kushanas came first they don't know that so if you have a table and you in order you write the dynasties okay leave the year let it be whatever year if you order you write like this okay till gupta dynasty like starting from ashoka in, in the time of like bc 300 bc till ad phase if you write all the 20 30 kingdoms in india and read it two three times you will never forget it or at least in the exam hall you remember like i know that uh, kushana is somewhere here uh, satavana is definitely uh, below that or above that that order at least you'll remember you maybe don't not know in the year you will not know like it's 7th century ad or 6th century ad maybe you will not remember but at least some order you have in the prelims exam hall it will help you eliminate options okay so this is one example of timeline or maybe uh, causes consequences like when you do like revolt of 1857 you write here revolt of 1857 causes the center will be causes and you put like this and write all the causes political causes military causes economic causes uh, uh, some uh, other leader related causes or instant immediate cause okay a revolutionary cause whatever you write it's in one picture and the same paper you can have everything okay here it will be causes then here it will be consequences Okay, and here somewhere top timeline, name of leaders, end result, something like that. In one particular, sorry, one single image, you have this entire thing. Okay, that is how you make for history. For culture, again, terms like Buddhism, Jainism, terms are there which are very, very similar. You can all note, like, note, note it down everything together like Buddhism. You can write five terms and write the meaning of that one line meaning. Okay, in our test and charts already there. So I don't think any of these things that I tell you will apply to YCIA student because all this hard work, I am doing it for you and you are getting it. Okay, when you enroll, you will get everything. You don't need to do anything yourself. Now, uh, uh, timeline, styles, okay, like temple styles are there, architectural styles are there, or different caves are there, like Elora, uh, Ajanta, and uh, maybe uh, Nasik caves, or there are like in the north also you have in uh, like Bara, uh, uh, I forgot the names of many things like in, I think, uh, Ashoka related many things are there in Bihar. Okay, Bihar and all there are two, three hills and in that hills also four, four, four to five caves are there in each hill. Okay, so all these things you can put it in one particular table. Personality names again. Okay, culturally I told you like Tyagraja or um, some uh, uh, um, Bhakti movement, Sufi movement. These are all having personality names and UPC have asked it also as per their timeline. Who came first or who is contemporary. So these are the culture related things you have to make notes. Geography, I already told you, vegetation, climate, flora, fauna, all these things you can put it in one table and memorize. Environment again, protected areas, I showed you one example. Then terminologies will be there, ecology and all those things, okay, different terms. Uh, international relations, like you can again, as I told, like you can put a center thing like India, uh, Myanmar. And India, Myanmar, you can like origin, like when they started their first trade deal or something. Or whether they are in common in one group, like they are together in SARC or maybe BIMSTEC or whatever group they are together. Then current happenings. 2020-19 maybe they'd sign some deal or maybe defense exercises what defense exercise they have so india myanmar you have in one single page next page take india usa or maybe even bodies can be there like you can put sark here and then related to sark you can write everything okay so this is one way of making international relations charts 
quality should be comparative like you know uh, president and the governor will look similar prime minister and the chief minister will look similar so you can put a, put a table and that slight difference okay similarities anyway you will buy hard but difference what is there that you can note down there sciences sciences as such there is no notes because almost everything come from current affairs okay so you be like more by hearting but still there are things like a difference between 2g 3g 4g 5g you can make a table or maybe augmented reality and virtual reality or uh, infrared and bluetooth these are the things which you guys have asked already wi-fi okay so wi-fi and li-fi okay this also asked in 2017 so this things which came in news you can make a comparative table economics again like different types of banks are there world bank asian development bank asian infrastructure bank um then what is there um, like there are many other okay new development bank so that and all in one column world history again as i told in center american revolution and put causes consequences or whatever okay what is related to that personalities timeline like then one chart after you study these things you cannot like don't think like you know, today morning i will sit and make 10 charts you are, that is not your intention when you study you memorize lot of things and when you have free time try to do it yourself without looking in the textbook if you are able to do it means you already know it you don't have to again make simply diagrams for that you already know everything by heart now there will be some things maybe you keep forgetting you forgot what is the political cause you forgot the economic cause that time make this organized chart by looking into the textbook and then every now and then keep on revising it okay no essay for essay you don't need anything separate because whatever you make for all these things that will apply to essay okay because essay will be always a gs topic only there will be one philosophy topic and there will be one gs topic for philosophy you don't need to make any notes you have to uh, write it on the spot maybe like about gandhi ji or about uh, uh, karl marx or they last something okay shakespeare something they last so that is different but gs whatever you already studied for other subjects that is what will be there in your essay okay so this is one example of polity revision charts you have constitutional non constitutional bodies okay i think uh, uh, chapter number uh, 58 to 63 or something like that in lakshmikant you have there will be each chapter for a different personality and it's only two two pages so that two two pages if you make one one column here you can make it in two three charts easily okay so if you see here one so i have two also there are two three parts for this so if you see planning commission now planning commission won't be there in the new textbook niti aayog will be there then uh, national development council national human rights state human so national and state together when i see if anything is differing here i can see it here itself on the screen okay so it it's much more easier see president and governor appointed by members who is removing what is the age limit or criteria salary then can end okay this can be like terminated if what happens reappointment eligible or not eligible so everything in one picture these are actually two to th- or four chapters okay this whatever you see on screen is four chapters in lakshmikant okay and any extra thing you have you can add here also so this is example okay of polity chart this is another report okay global gender gap global uh, gender inequality and gender parity so like at least 100000 reports you will study in a year okay while preparing for upsc but the similar ones you can group it together okay i have lots and lots of such comparison charts in my snippet card i have many many things compiled like this which is uh, all looking similar okay so when you see it in one spot you will not forget it okay because this criteria and all everybody keeps forgetting see trick calls are given heap ramle and this one there is no trick because there is nothing there to memorize so like this the body everything you can see in one single chart c bank from this actually 2019 question came okay in 2019 this about aib question came and they told like uh, india is the largest shareholder if you know this chart you can easily eliminate it's not india it is uh, china okay and they told like uh, no one outside asia is part of it but if you see here here germany i have mentioned okay uh, usa canada is not members that also i mentioned so everything you see in one single chart and you get two marks for prelims see consolidated fund public fund contingency fund these are things which are similar okay point number 12 cover to cover should i do a textbook cover to cover or uh, should i do it for uh, the purpose of reading okay so that's why i'm telling syllabus and previous year paper is the key okay you don't have to do cover to cover for every textbook maybe some textbook you have to do cover to cover some textbook you have to do only certain things like maybe like um, um, economics economics if you take macro economics class 12 is important there also but every chapter you don't need if you do the syllabus and previous paper you will immediately skip the chapter which is not required okay you will understand it yourself but if you take lakshmikant or spectrum you have to do cover to cover ncert history uh, 6 to 12 geography 6 to 12 this and all you have to do cover to cover okay but cover to cover studying again note making it is based on as i told like if you study indus valley civilization from three different places the notes which you prepare should be consolidated in one particular heading under indus valley civilization okay and polity i showed you how to do uh, revolt and world history i showed you how to do 
Or should I buy handwritten note? This is one doubt which students have. Like there are many people who are selling this. Okay, and that's a big business in this in this thing. Okay, I don't recommend this buying handwritten notes because people will scribble in their own handwriting, their own topics. They feel something and they will write it. There is no guarantee that it will be useful for you. Okay, because the main purpose of making notes is. Uh, so that something which you have made by yourself for your understanding that is there with you it is a person to person thing please i would recommend okay it's still up to you but i would recommend don't go and buy the stoppers notes or these things and all for your study sake maybe for extra reference you can buy it and keep but if that becomes your primary source you will regret it later okay i know students who does this they like starting off there they go and buy lot of handwritten notes which maybe some things are not even readable okay but you like to collect all these things and tell like i have this air uh, one air seven rank 20 rank 30 i have all these people's notes at my home i have collected i have folders and folders of materials you will not touch any of these okay i am telling you seriously you will not touch it the end of the year you will regret that i wasted money on them okay even if you get it for free in some websites please don't waste time because there are some students who from morning to night go and google all the forums all the ias portals because there are many things are for free okay whatever is too much free right that will be junk only i am seriously telling you if something is worth it if something is coming for the exam or something that person will not give it that for free okay they are giving it for free just for like people come and click on their portal or maybe they have their revenue based on that so please think of all these things handwritten notes i recommend not to buy but still if you want for extra reference you can keep it how to use these notes now you made all these notes and if you pile it up simply if you don't even know where you saved it there's no index then all this is a waste of time so always have a habit to uh, refresh your update your notes and also revise them every now and then it's not like you study world history in the starting of the year then only for your mains you will again touch it okay meaning you would never test it in between that uh, 8 to 10 months if you don't touch it that's not right at least once in a while at least uh, once in two months or three months go and check all your notes again was there something was there which like maybe there are things which that point you felt relevant but after two three months of extra reading you understood that whatever i made notes that day is not even useful for upsc then go and delete it go and erase it or strike it off so that's what i'm telling it should be checked every like often okay you decide when you should do don't pile up the notes without touching them last point mnemonics this is my favorite thing also which because i make a lot of tricks i make a lot of mnemonics okay mnemonics is something where you make shortcut tricks okay like already maybe like sark what are the sark members i made this f uh, five six years back and still i remember what are the sark members without looking anywhere okay mbbs pain okay these are the country names pakistan afghanistan india nepal uh, maldives bhutan uh, bangladesh and sri lanka okay so this is sark Maybe for BIMSTEC you will have one. Okay, BIMSTEC is actually equal, easy because B I M S T everything is there. BIMST itself is there, and instead of E C, you will have uh, this Nepal and Bhutan. Okay, so in in that itself you have the names OPEC oil uh, countries. Okay, for that there was a trick. Equa I already explained in one of my video. Equa whale skin. Okay, because all are near the ocean, all are Muslim countries. So where this whale and all are hot countries. So whale skin. If you have this, okay. Now it is changed. Okay, earlier that time when we were making this was one trick. Okay, now there are I think extra there. So I added G I. Okay. So like that there are fourteen countries in that now. OPEC countries. Like this for each and everything. If you make a trick, you will not forget it. Okay, I have tricks for almost every international body. Almost everything which I teach students, I tell them some trick also. So these are examples of our snippet cards. Okay, like F A T F. This is thing which I already asked. Like who initiated it? UPSC once asked. Like instead of G7, they put G20. Okay, and they told like it completed this much anniversary or something. But if you remember this 37 G789, you will remember this. Okay, 35 members plus two extra countries. G7 initiated it in 1989. It came. Okay, FATF of G789 over. Ecosoc. Ecosoc is one of the UN organ. That was the UPSC statement. Whether it is an organ or not. So here 6543. Okay, like for everything, if you do, it will be become more more confusing. Okay, only which is asked in UPSC, I made like this. So six five four three. If you see six means it's one of the six members. Fifty four means it's uh, having fifty four members, and three uh, it is having three year term. Justice Party, Justice Party, South Indian Liberation. I think two thousand sixteen they asked this. So who are the founder members of this? So this T N Tamil Nadu that itself has the answer for it. Okay, T N T N. Tagrajit Jati, Nateshan uh, Mudaliyar, and T M Nair. Okay, so T N T N. So this is like. in one glance you are by hearting things this is not a method to study something this is a method to by heart something which you already studied okay so that is why we give the snippet cards at the last we have test we have revision charts and then we have snippet cards okay i have mentioned here learn revise by heart 
see this is one thing which repeatedly upesh has asked in ashoka stupa what are the animals present in pashupati seal what are the animals present okay so if here if you see bhcl and here it is bret okay and that b itself is differing it's a different thing so if you study this once this is asked also two marks you are getting in upsc just by by hearting four animal names okay some people don't take it seriously because they never saw the previous year paper okay so these are examples in our snippet cards where you make mnemonics there are many many mnemonics but if i show you everything for free then it will be injustice to the students who have enrolled to that okay so 2020 students you can come and enroll 2021 you have a long time i will launch the test series soon okay so i have showed you 15 pointers so i will wind up here because it's become 45 minutes already i had some more slides to show you but this is a rough idea of how to make notes okay 15 enough pointers okay color coding charts diagrams newspaper digital notes offline notes almost everything which i could imagine okay i have answered it still you have any query you can come and ask me so please come and whatsapp me i'll try to answer your queries thank you for listening to this session enjoy and have a nice day